so we have already completed our discussion up to this now we have to move forward so the next uh, the next most important things is the assumption of maglis maintain equation this is the assumption of maglis maintain equation now uh, according to the maglis maintain equation the assumptions is like the formation formation of es equal to the uh, breakdown breakdown of yes this is whatever the assumption of this equation actually uh, at the very initial stage of this enzyme substrate reaction uh, it can be seen that um, the production of uh, enzyme substrate complex is equal to the uh, breakdown of enzyme substrate complex that means uh, let's suppose uh, due to the enzymatic reaction there will uh, form total uh, four enzyme substrate complex and among of this four enzyme substrate complex e all of this uh, enzyme substrate complex will convert into the product or uh, let's suppose four enzyme substrate complex has been produced and due to the enzymatic reaction uh, between this four enzyme substrate complex all of this four substrate will convert into the products then uh, you can say that uh, this equation is actually maintaining the steady state condition so this is what about the um, assumption of this equation that at the very early stage of this enzyme substrate reaction uh, the equation will maintain a steady state condition when the formation of enzyme substrate uh, complex is equal to the concentration of breakdown of enzyme substrate complex so this is what about the assumption of Michaelis maintain equation and depending upon this uh, assumption the whole Michaelis maintain equation is derived so uh, now we have to find out uh, the value of formation of yes so the value of formation of yes is equal to let me check it out uh, it will be the k1 uh, the k1 dot e dot s k1 dot the concentration of e dot concentration of s now if you guys remember uh, i had mentioned i had mentioned over here that the value of e is et minus es it will be it is that is total amount of engine minus es that is uh, that is the enzymes which are bound with this substrate this is whatever the value of a and we have to put the value of s now uh, we have to multiply k1 with et and s so it will be k1 dot et dot s minus again we have to multiply k1 with es and s k1 dot uh, es dot concentration of s so this is what about the value of formation of es <coughs> now we have to find out uh, the value of breakdown of es the value of breakdown of yes and it will be uh, again let me check it out the value of uh, for uh, breakdown of yes will be uh, k3 dot es plus uh, k2 dot es uh, it will be k3 dot es plus k2 dot es so you can see that is acting here as a common factor so you can take it common and the reaction will be like this k3 plus k2 again we have to back to the assumption of this e equation according to the assumption of this equation the formation of es complex is equal to uh, the formation of uh, the breakdown of es that means uh, if we denote this equation as equation one and this as equation two according to this assumption Michael's maintain assumptions are uh, the equation one will be equal to the equation two got it that means uh, you can write it down like this way that k1 dot et dot s minus k1 dot es 
dot s concentration of s is equal to uh, concentration of es so k theta plus k2 okay now uh, we have to shift uh, this s complex from left side to right side so k1 et s is equal to es k3 plus k2 the minus will be plus and the remaining portion will be there that is es and concentration of s now again uh, you can see that um, you can see that the es is also acting here as a common factor again you have to take es common and the rest of the equation will be k3 plus k2 plus k1 to the concentration of s uh, this is the uh, remaining equations now now uh, we have to find out the value of es the value of s so the value of s will be k1 total amount of enzymes s divided by k3 plus k2 plus k1 concentration of s okay now uh, we can write it down the equation in another way that is total amount of enzymes total uh, total the concentration of s and uh, the concentration of s plus k3 plus k2 by k1 now if you say that uh, this is nothing but the uh, this is uh, if you solve this equation then it can form this equation because uh, i am explaining it over here that is et s and the remaining portion that is s plus k3 plus k2 divided by k that is the k1 k1 now if you take the lcm then that will be k1 concentration of s dot k1 plus uh, it will be k3 plus k2 and uh, this is the remaining portion that is concentration of et and concentration of s now in the next line this k1 will be there and due to this reason it will be k1 et and it will be s this k1 will be there that's why uh, this is the k1 et s and it's divided by uh, it's divided by concentration of s k1 plus k3 plus k2 and you can see that both of these two equations are similar got it so i think uh, this is clear right now so this is the value of es and if you guys remember then that this is uh, the according to the Michaelis maintained constant uh, uh, the km is equal to dissociation constant by association constant, uh, constant which i mentioned over here that km is equal to k2 plus k3 that is the dissociation constant is divided by k1 that is the association constant of uh, what to say the forward directions what it that means now we can write it down in this way concentration of total amount of enzymes concentration of substrate that is the s again concentration of s plus uh, we can do it whole this system as a km what it's that means km now uh, again uh, i have uh, i have mentioned over here the value of what to say uh, the value of es is uh, the value of es where i have mentioned just a minute uh, the value of es is a v0 you can see that the value of es is uh, the uh, the value of v initial uh, the, the value of initial velocity is divided by uh, the k2 K2 that is uh, K2 that is the dissociation constant of forward reaction. That means the value of S will be a v, a v, a initial velocity is divided by K2. So you can write it down over here. It will be 
initial velocity upon k2 okay now uh, the v0 will be k2 dot total amount of engines and the concentration of s is divided by concentration of s plus km okay now you can see that uh, if you guys remember that k2 dot concentration of et is recognized as an uh, v max k2 dot concentration of et so uh, the reaction will be like this v0 is equal to v max dot concentration of s is divided by concentration of s plus km that is the mass maintained constant this is the real this is the real derivation of michaelis maintain equation so this is nothing but the michaelis maintain equation now if the value of v0 is equal to the half of v max half of v max then what will be happen let's suppose uh, the initial velocity uh, is equal to the half of maximum velocity now in this case uh, the value of this v0 will be half v max it will be half v max and the remaining portion that is the p max into concentration of s is divided by concentration of s plus micro constant that is the km so this will be the concentration of s plus micro constant is equal to the concentration of uh, substrate to 2 that means the maculus maintain, maintain uh, constant is equal to the concentration of substrate. So this is the another equation of maculus maintain derivations. Got it? So this two equation is uh, pretty much important. Uh, I hope uh, up to this uh, all of your uh, concept is clear. And if you still now are facing so many problems, then you can uh, mention your problems uh, uh, by putting your comments uh, inside my video links so so that i can assist you to sort, sort out your problem thank you very much so please stay tuned and subscribe my channels to get such type of video thank you very much